everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a basic papoki recipe, your basic rice cake. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So the basics that you need is going to be the first five ingredients that you have listed up here and the rest of it is just additional stuff to make it fancier, or tastier or whatnot. So let's get started. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a few additional items just for color and why not because I'm making it. But again, these are additional items. This is not necessary. I am using four green onions. I'm going to go ahead and just save a little bit to garnish with on top later. And then I'm going to be cutting up the rest of these into like one, one and a half inch pieces or so. Again, not necessary, but you can use it if you have it, if you'd like it. But I'm just trying to show you what it is that you guys can use in your kitchen that you may already have without having to go looking for special particular items. Now that I've cut them all into pieces and if you find that they're a little bit too chunky in certain parts of it, go ahead and just cut them right in half. And for the little pieces that I took out earlier, all I'm going to do is chop these up into little pieces so I can just sprinkle that on top once I am done. Remember, if you don't have any of these items or the green onions, don't use it. It's not necessary. Now I'm going to set these aside into a bowl and use these later. And I wanted to show you guys the additional item that I've also used. These are just pre-fried pre fish cakes. And I'm just going to cut these up into little pieces because I already have cylindrical looking green onions and my rice cakes. And so I wanted to show you guys additional things you can use. Again, if you don't have this kind, if you have the round ones, you can use that. There's a whole bunch of extras you can use. Hard boiled eggs if you want to. Any kind of meat chopped up. Dumplings, ramen noodles, vegetables of your choices. Carrots, cabbage, peas, onions, anything of the sort. Again, if you don't have them, not necessary. If you want to keep this vegetarian, use the veggies. And use like a, I'll show you guys later. I'm using a bouillon cube, but you can use a veggie bouillon cube instead of chicken stock or anything of the sort. Now this is four cups of water that I am using and I went ahead and had it boiling for a few minutes and then I added my bouillon cube right into it. And this is all going to dissolve nicely together. Again, use your veggie bouillon cube or your chicken stock. You can even use beef stock if you want to. And if you don't have any of that, you can use plain water. This is just to help you guys make your basic topoki and anything else is going to be just extras that'll just make it a little bit more delicious. I am using a quarter cup of red pepper paste in mine. If you want it more spicy, use a half a cup and use a couple of tablespoons of red pepper flakes. But I'm going to try to keep it a little bit more on the milder side for my family. I've added one tablespoon of Splenda for myself, use sugar for you. And all we're going to do is continue stirring everything up so our bouillon cube, our red pepper paste, and our sugar becomes nicely combined and dissolved. Once everything is dissolved, all you need to do is grab your rice cakes and pour that right into your pot very carefully because you don't want anything splashing around and hitting you or burning you in any kind of way. And all we're going to do is gently stir this and let this come back up to a rolling boil. Once this comes to a rolling boil, all you need to do is gently stir everything around. This way we are ensuring that nothing is sticking together, sticking to the bottom of the pan or the sides, and we're making sure that our rice cakes are cooking. And you're going to see it bloats up a little bit and it just gets softer so you know that it's time where it's, where it's almost ready to eat. You should have it boiling for about three to four minutes and once that is done, go ahead and add your additional items at this time. If you're going to be using anything additional at this time, this is the time to do it. So your ramen noodles, any kind of vegetables that you may have, any kind of meats that you want in this as well, add that. And again, gently stir everything around so we don't splash and make a mess or anything of the storage. ASMR time. Now since I've added all of the additional things into my pot along with my rice cakes, I'm going to be letting this cook for about a good five to seven minutes or so. And you'll notice 
that the broth is no longer just liquidy. It's a little bit thicker now because of the rice cake starch. I hope this recipe has been helpful for some of you. I've actually been requested this recipe, just a basic type for any non-Koreans that might not be going to Asian stores or anybody that doesn't have access to Korean stores to get certain ingredients. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching and watch me cook.